So now that we have styled our chapter headings and subheadings and also given them a paragraph number, let's move ahead and try to see how we can insert and caption figures, tables and charts. This is an important skill and there is a right way of doing it. But before we move forward, let me just tell you one more thing about styling the headings. Um, say for example, you wanted to add a line after every chapter number. You can just simply click on heading one and then right click and modify. And you can head to borders. So you will see here uh, a tab called as borders. So when you click on borders, you can actually just simply go ahead and click on a border and a line will appear. So this is our heading. And what we have just done is that we have activated a line under our heading. So that's what I have done. So let me just press apply to see how this looks. So a line has been created just under the heading. If you wanted to change color, you can come here and make it a little light. If you wanted to change the style of the line, you can come here and do that. And say, for example, if you wanted to have a little more distance between the heading and the line, you can just simply add a little more padding at the bottom. But remember, if this checkbox is ticked, it means it is synchronized, which means that when you increase the distance for one, the distance for left, right, top also increases. What you want to do, if you just want to increase the distance at the bottom, you can just unsynchronize it and then just go to the bottom field and increase that particular distance. So a little more space has actually been created and the, the color of the line is now a little less prominent as compared to the heading itself. So once you are done, you can just simply come here and press OK. Now, as I have been telling, because I controlled it from the heading one style, I hope to see the same changes everywhere across my document with every chapter heading. And that's exactly what is happened here. So you can actually create lines under any heading style by going to borders. Let's now see how we can insert a figure, a table and a chart. So inserting a figure is very easy in LibreOffice 7. Just simply click at the place where you want the figure to be inserted. Then just simply go to insert and press image. Mostly figures are actually images. So just insert, pick up your figure and press open. So the figure will arrive. Uh, using one of the corner handles, you can resize the figure. So the figure becomes smaller. Now notice that as you move your figure, uh, text is following this particular figure and it is actually touching the edges of the figure. What we want is that the text should actually be separated from the figure's edge. So when you click on the figure, you will find that it is styled as graphics. So we'll make a change in the styling of the figure itself such that in future, whenever we insert a figure, we have uh, a distance between text and the edge of the figure. So I'm just going to right click it and press modify. And then I'm going to come here to the wrap section and then just simply go ahead and add some distance. So let me say if I wanted to add 0 0.4 centimeters on the left and 0 0.4 centimeters at the bottom. So if your figure is on the left, you would like to have the same spacing on the right. So you can change this according to your needs. And then just simply come here and press apply. So let us just have a look at this. Uh, it's visible here. The text is touching the edge of the picture. Now after giving this distance, when we press apply, you will see that the text has moved away and the picture edge is now clean. So we are just going to go ahead and press OK. To insert a caption, uh, all you need to do is right click on this picture and then just simply come here and press insert caption. So when you insert caption, uh, you can just simply provide the caption itself right here in the box. So I'm going to type this in. And the only other thing that you must note here is that the category is set to figure. 
because when we are doing a caption for a table, uh, this will change to table. So by default, it is figure. So you can just simply go ahead and press OK. So a caption arrives at the bottom of the figure. If you want to center the caption, you can just click on this line and then just go ahead and change the styling of figure. So right click, modify, and you can go to alignment and just change this to center and press apply. So let us just have a look at this. So as we press apply, the, the caption centers relative to the picture. If you feel that the line itself, figure one, is very close to the picture, you can come to indents and spacing. And from the line spacing drop down, you can just simply click here and press 1.15 lines and apply. Or otherwise, if you wanted more, 1.5 and apply, and so on and so forth. So this is how you can actually uh, insert a picture and provide a caption. Notice here that the figure number is one. Many times it is required that figures are preceded by the chapter number. So for example, if this figure is appearing in chapter number one, the number of the figure should actually be 1.1. So you can do this quite easily. Just double click on this number itself. So you see a dialog open up and in the numbering by chapter, uh, the default is none. You can set it to one because you will recall that all our chapter numbers are in heading one. So we are saying that the figure number should be preceded by the chapter number. And you can just come here in the separator box and press backspace to reach the edge of the box and just simply put a point, a full stop. So that will act as a separator. So the figure number will be preceded by one point and the number of the figure is one, two, three, four. So we'll just simply go here and click and you will see that uh, with this on, uh, your figures will always be preceded by a chapter number. So if you are inserting a figure in chapter number two, it will actually be 2.1, 2.2 and so on and so forth. So let's now insert a chart. And there was a discussion on different countries, sustainability ranking of different countries. So let us say we wanted to insert a chart here that shows uh, sustainability ranking of different countries over the years. So you can insert a chart quite easily in a very similar way. Just go to insert and click on chart. And a chart appears for you right here. You can double click on this chart to make the edges as gray and you will see a panel open up here from where you can change a lot many things including the, the kind of chart. So you can have any kind of chart from here and many other things that you can actually uh, set right from here. So when you click, double click on this, the edge turns gray. So you can bring your mouse pointer at any place in this white area and right click and choose data table. So this opens up the data source of this table. You can just simply type in, say for example, if I had data for three, four years, so I can just simply go ahead and replace the rows as years. And the columns as countries so i can come here and i can say france i can say poland and maybe i can say venezuela so once i'm done and these are let's say for example ranking uh, from 0 to 10 so i'm not going to touch this but you can change this as well once you are done you can just press close and you will see this appear here. Uh, if you wanted to give titles, you can just right click and insert titles. As we will give a caption, so title for the graph is not needed, but an X axis title can come here. You can mention year and Y axis title could actually be rank or anything else. So this is how you can actually create an insert chart. Now we just need to caption this particular chart. So the process is exactly the same. Click on the graph and then just right click and insert caption. 
and just provide a caption. So you will see that this is also a figure. So we'll go ahead with it and we will just say and after you've provided a caption just press OK. So remember from previous time we had said the numbering as chapter followed by the numbers this is because this is under chapter 2 the number is 2.1 and the caption has come under the center of the figure. So this is how you can insert a chart. Let's now see how to insert a table. You can insert a table by going to table and then inserting the necessary number of rows and columns and then fill in this data if you wanted to. But I just wanted to show you that if your data was separated by a comma, say for example, country, comma, sustainability growth, USA, comma, 20, etc. You can actually convert this text into a table and the columns will be drawn at the place where there is a separator that is the comma. So to do that you just have to click on table and then come to convert and then just press text to table. The only thing that you have to provide is what separates columns. So here we will just choose other and there's already a comma inside this box so nothing else has to be given. If you so desire, you can click on auto format and choose one of the formats that is available um, inside LibreOffice 7. So I'm going to choose one and press OK. And then just simply come here and press OK. So your text will be converted into a table. And then using the exact same method, uh, you can actually right click and insert a caption. And then just simply give a caption. And just press OK. So you will note the category here is now table. So we will just go ahead and press OK. And the caption will appear on top of the table. And it will be correctly numbered as either chapter followed by the number of the table or otherwise the table number itself as you have set it. And you can further modify the styling for the caption is table. So you can right click and modify and change it as we have seen before for example the alignment could be center right left and so on and so forth and if you wanted a space between the caption and the table you could increase this as we have seen before so once you are done you can just simply press apply and ok and this is how you can insert tables and captions so we have seen how to insert and caption a figure if you wanted the figures and tables to be captioned automatically rather than you right clicking on them and inserting caption you can do so by going to tools and then going to options and then just opening up LibreOffice Writer and then going to auto caption and here you will find that you can actually click the items that you want to be auto captioned. So you can just click the table. So you will see here that the category is table. And if you wanted the table to be chapterized, that is the number of the table be preceded by the number of the chapter. So you can, you know, let this remain as it is. This is the default. Otherwise, if you wanted to have simple numbering, you can come here and choose none. So I'm going to leave it as it was. What you can also do is just come here and say whenever I insert an image that should also be auto caption and the same can also be done for charts. You have to ensure for charts that the category is figure and not illustration. So the charts and the images would get numbered or captioned as figures and the table would automatically get captioned as table. So once you do this, the next time you insert a figure, you will find that it is auto captioned. Let us try to do that. So I'm just going to come to insert image and I'm going to pick up an image and enter. So as you can see, I have just uh, entered an image and that image is now auto captioned with the correct number and the caption is centered as we had done for done in the figure styling. And you can just click on this line and extend the caption. So this way you can actually automatically caption figures. You can do the same for tables also. Let's try to have a look at this and let's say I was inserting a table. The moment I insert I have a caption on top. So I don't have to right click and press insert caption every time and then I can just simply go ahead and type in a title of the uh, of the table or a caption 
for the table. So thanks for watching.